Pokemon Stars was once a huge topic among the Pokemon fans after Pokemon Sun and Moon originally came out. I just want to say thanks to today's video sponsor, Europe Mask. This is one of their products and it is amazing. It's a headphone stand as well as a controller stand. So it holds any controller you want, up to two of them, just like that. Like, look how cool of a display that is. That's not even the best part though, because you could actually hold your headset as well as hold a wire right there. You can actually rotate the back right there if you want your headset to go this way or if you want it to go under the desk. The best function about this is it's actually adjustable. So even if your desk is this thin or this thick, you could put it on any desk. This is by far one of the most convenient and coolest products to have on your desk setup. It feels great, good build quality, very affordable. Please check out the link in my description. It'll take you right to Amazon where you can get this delivered to your house within two days with Amazon Prime. Many people were convinced that Pokemon Stars would have been the follow-up game to Sun and Moon or maybe just an additional game. It would have been cool to have a third version of that generation. It kind of would have been reminiscent of some of the OG games having three versions, not two. Think of like Pokemon Blue, Green, and Red. Around the time of Sun and Moon, Nintendo dropped one of the first trailers for the Nintendo Switch, which you know was like six, seven years ago at this point, which led people to believe that Sun and Moon would have a sequel or another type of installment on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo also announced at the time that they still were going to support the 3DS for a few years, which they ended up supporting the 3DS for quite some time after. But that's also partly why we got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on the 3DS and not the Switch. Nintendo basically just wanted to ensure that the newest Pokemon game would have the most sales, so for them it would kind of make sense to release on the 3DS because they were confident in the Nintendo Switch release, but after the Wii U kind of failed, I'm sure they're a little bit scared that the sales of the Switch would have been low, meaning the newest Pokemon game sales would have also been very low. From a business perspective, I definitely understand that though. I think they made a good choice with that. Apparently Pokemon Stars was actually almost in production or at least in its planning phases. Like it was actually a real thing according to Eurogamer, which they say they have several sources that they could prove that with. Eurogamer also stated that Pokemon Stars never really represented a true leap towards what a Pokemon design for significantly more powerful hardware might be. So basically what I take that is because the Switch obviously is more powerful than the 3DS, and if Stars was gonna be released on the Switch originally, like if it was gonna be a follow-up game to Sun and Moon, or even just like, you know, like I said, the third version, it would kind of make sense for Pokemon to have the same graphics because 3DS graphics is more of like the 3D-ish style and on the Switch they wanted something different, more a little bit more advanced. So it would have been kind of weird for that generation if they released a 3DS game on the Switch, you know, with the 3DS graphics and everything. It would have been kind of weird if Stars was on the Switch with like totally different graphics that Sun and Moon don't have, if that makes any sense. The fanbase also may not have been as hyped for a new Pokemon game if it was based on a generation that they literally just played. I feel like there's a lot of factors that play into why Pokemon Stars never actually came out. I'm gonna get to it all guys, or at least most of it. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any theories or reasons as to why Pokemon Stars never came out. As we all know, Pokemon had kind of a rough start on the Switch, but that also kind of may have been part of Nintendo's plan. They were aware that they didn't just have to rely on Pokemon to have some massive releases on the Switch. They also had Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know, Mario Odyssey, other Mario games, some massive games coming out, Splatoon 2 and everything. And they thought that if they released a brand new Pokemon game, it would have just been way too much to release at one time, which definitely kind of makes sense. At first when I saw that from an article, I was like, well, that's kind of dumb. I still would have loved to have a Pokemon game, like a big Pokemon game and the Switch's first or second year. But it kind of does make sense because there's so many big games coming out and the Switch just came out. People are dropping a ton of money, you know, 300 bucks for a Switch, $60 a game. So think of it from the point of view of a business if they're dropping a ton of stuff at once, the customers and the fan base aren't going to be able to drop so much money and buy everything, meaning the Pokemon sales or Zelda sales or Mario sales would have just plummeted. Well, maybe not plummeted, but definitely would not have been as high as they could have been because people aren't going to buy every single game at once. That's just It's just not realistic. So Nintendo pretty much realized they own a ton of massive titles, so I think it was kind of a smart uh, thing for them to do that and then they ended up releasing Ultra Sun and Moon on the 3DS shortly after. Another reason why Stars never came out was because the fact that Nintendo still wanted to support the 3DS. So later they released Ultra Sun and Moon 
on the 3DS, and if Pokemon Stars actually did release on the Switch, it basically just would have been the Switch version of Sun and Moon. One thing that I really find interesting about Pokemon Stars is that it's actually not the first time people have created rumors about a third version of a Pokemon game to come out. I'm pretty sure Pokemon Grey was the first one rumored to come out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but another reason why Stars may have not came out was because they saw that the fans didn't really like Sun and Moon as much as Nintendo really hoped they would. Because Sun and Moon, is, it's kind of like you either like it or you, I mean, some people love it or you just hate it. A majority of the people hate it. I haven't finished yet, but I think it's a fun game. Like, I don't really see why it gets all the hate. I think it's still pretty fun. Definitely not close to my favorite Pokemon game, but it's definitely not a bad game, right? And it's obviously not a bad game because they released Ultra Sun and Moon. Maybe they just thought a sequel to Sun and Moon would have been a better game and more logical at the time. Like, instead of releasing Pokemon Stars, it might have confused people too much that it would have been a sequel, because maybe they originally planned on Pokemon Stars actually being the sequel to Sun and Moon. So rather than that, they just named it Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which in my opinion is even more confusing though. I just think Ultra Sun and Moon to most people sounds like Sun and Moon. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's a little bit more confusing than just releasing Pokemon Stars. I think people wanted like Pokemon Stars and Pokemon Eclipse to come out, like instead of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which I, I prefer to be honest. I think that would have been better, but maybe Pokemon Stars will come out one day. Let me know if I missed anything, guys, but basically to wrap it up, Pokemon Stars was pretty much in the planning phase or already in development, and it was planned to go onto the Switch, basically just as either a Sun and Moon port over to the Switch or a sequel. Let me know if you guys would have wanted to see Pokemon Stars. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.